that it's gotten banned and gotten the response that it has it almost seems like it's a part of another act of the film doesn't it <laughs> actually you know the 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 ban in pakistan has kind of helped the film internationally a lot because hmm. the international media has caught up on it and i've been recently uh, a lot of international channels were here to interview me and but this is also a sad part that international media what they're asking me is that you know pakistan doesn't have freedom of speech and if you work you don't have room to express yourself as an artist and it's is a situation and we as we as artists i mean i personally we fight when you go abroad telling people that listen guys pakistan is not all about hmm. terror and war and uh, tribal areas and you hmm. know back and all these things i mean very but pakistan is also about a lot of other good things about the brighter side of pakistan should also be do you shown. feel frustrated as an actor as an artist Uh, one in Pakistan nowadays, yes, not just me, but I think the entire artist community, because there is very little or no room available right now for the artists, be those actors or singers or anyone, to actually uh, manifest their work in a way that they want to. and to gain returns out of it is it also because of the growing talibanization the of growing course, I mean, pressure the first industry that gets hit by uh, this phenomenon is the entertainment industry and this is what has happened and uh, it is sad i mean apart from that there is no real concentration or uh, uh, policies that are being devised from the government to encourage art and culture nobody is actually sitting down and thinking how to revive it how to f- make it flourish you know one of the things i've always wondered about artists in pakistan or for that matter any profession in pakistan that when you go abroad you see people coming together trying to find solutions but over here people remain largely divided mm. and that's the same criticism of let's say actors and artists here in yeah. pakistan how come you guys haven't come together formed a kind of a lobby Mm. for peace for you know harmony between the two countries even that's a very good question that should be done that should have been done i tried it once not just me but me and a group of other artists mm. uh, tried collecting people they all also came over to my place we all sat down discussed a lot of po- possibilities to, to unite and make a union and fight for our rights unfortunately uh, things didn't turn out the way that we had planned them because certain egos come in and every artist feels like a star and i think in order to do something like this you need to feel like an artist so there were very few of us left hmm. who actually wanted to do it just for the sake of making the difference and not actually talk about those small little differences hmm. uh but i think you're right something like this should happen but then i thought that you know if if you can't do it collectively then each one of us should at least make an effort individually like i am right now while talking to you and to communicate this to the authorities that uh, you know entertainment art and culture holds a great importance and value in bringing out a society the color of the society and make it progress internationally because they say if you want to uh, curb down a culture a society or uh, people just kill its creative mind mm. so i mean if you if you're doing this to the creative mind of the society you're actually mm. killing the society mm. you need to facilitate them and not facilitate them with this with this uh, with just uh, emotional what do you call naras that we've announced this much funds and this much money where are those funds going mm. are there any uh, acting schools or singing schools being built are there any policies regarding media mm. and tv mm-hmm. uh, you know a lot of foreign illegal content is playing on tv also a lot right. of channels are playing it mm. so and how to regulate it the dvds yeah. as well but going back to bollywood when you mm. went to ba- bollywood you talked about training etc you also took a training workshop mm. what was that like for you was it We, the first time you did something like it you know i've uh, i've done minor workshops but this was a major 10 day workshop with mm. Barry John who's like a very well renowned known, yeah. well known acting coach so all of us actors got together and rehearsed the lines and script which is you know how things were done back in the PTV days actors used to sit down and rehearse their lines mm. so that they got acquainted with each other the chemistry was formed not just meet each other at the set that hi what's my line okay so that's what happens now you say hello to your uh, <laughs> co-star on the set sometimes sometimes that okay, happens that's, so. that's quite shocking yeah, i must so, say i mean yeah so i mean so that was the way to uh, you know kind of because when you're on the set you're making a movie you need to be perfect when you're there you can't think about what to do right then because it's a it's a film a lot of big money is being spent on the sets and production you can't right. waste time okay we have to take a short break over here but after the break we will ask ali zafar about his experience in bollywood so come right back
Welcome back. Before the break, we were taking a walk in the park with the famous Ali Zafar, and now we are in his living room, still in conversation with him. Ali, before we went on the break, you know, we were talking about your experience in Bollywood. But before we get to that, I wanted to, you know, ask you one question that a lot of people ask: is that whenever there are tensions between the two countries, between India and Pakistan, we never really see a lot of artists like yourself, the young artists, come forward and you know talk about peace. And it's strange because you all have benefited. from the peace between india and pakistan <laughs> i think we talk and make the human cry about peace the most i think because you have to understand that whenever there are tensions first of all there is no such time when there are no tensions so whenever there are more tensions we it affects us the most i think because a lot of cross border exchange um, uh, regarding artists had started happening before the 2611 and uh, since then i mean all of us i think we in our own way have been uh, trying to make a sound and mm-hmm. trying to uh, convince um, you know in our own way to normalize things as, But as much as possible i haven't heard much sounds coming I, from the younger artists uh, on it, peace and you know reconciliation i haven't seen that you need to see that. some more stuff because uh, no seriously because i i've mm, covered india pakistan and mm, uh, there is this criticism that comes mm, of younger artists mm, that they are in it for their own self that you know they are faint hearted they don't mm, really take up causes they are not politicized they want mm, to stay away from politics mm, I think uh, staying away from politics is an artist's own personal choice. An artist doesn't have to be politician or make political statement first. Secondly, every individual or an or an artist has their own means of communicating what they want. An artist, an activist does it through his his means which is taking a rally or whatever. An artist does it through his art. So how do you do it? I How do, do you express uh, your solidarity with mm. people who want peace between the two countries? What are my tools? My tools are my songs first, my art third, my writing. If you read my blogs on my website, many times I have written to people about to the youth and to uh, to everybody that how important it is to have peace between both the countries. What else can I do? If I'm called to any peace session or any summit like that, I would love to go. All right. So you know you were also in Mumbai when 26 11 when the Mumbai attacks happened the Indians like to call it 26 11 how was that for you because you were a Pakistani and a lot of Pakistanis who were there actors some of them had very unpleasant experiences and actually had to return back to Pakistan I uh, have been fortunate I did not face any unpleasant um, experiences Uh, when 26 11 the mumbai attacks happened we luckily only had two more days of shooting in mumbai so we finished that we went to hyderabad finished the rest were rest of the shooting in hyderabad the, ne- re- the next 15 days and i came back but what was it like was it tense for you well it was uh, very sad to see that you know suddenly uh, the entire media uh, you know Uh, had reached a conclusion that pakistan was responsible for it and you know whatever uh, the media communicates to the ordinary people obviously translates into larger volumes of reactions and all that and that was that suddenly started creating a sentiment amongst the normal ordinary people against pakistan and pakistanis so it was uh, a little sad to see that did you ever feel that somewhere people within your who were your friends who were shooting with you there was a nice atmosphere somewhere their attitude started to change maybe there was some hesitation somewhere i didn't experience it you didn't experience no it. i personally lucky. didn't experience it and did you feel a little bit defensive did you feel a little uh, wary of your surroundings when you were there when this happened they did get me extra security for those two days but uh, i mean uh, there was nothing you, no, no extraordinary nothing, no nothing extraordinary no and what were your feelings at that time that here i am a young artist wanting to break into bollywood and suddenly this happens were you fearful that perhaps i may not be able to release this film were your directors and your producers thinking that would there be an environment even to release that kind of film no you know i'll tell you some you have to know something about me that i am somebody who believes in not worrying too much about the future or getting